Voltage and current unbalance. How to calculate it. Voltage unbalance of more than 2% can cause motors to overheat and fail. Let's look at the recommended method for determining voltage unbalance. In our example, supply voltage is 240 three phase. From A to B, we read 243 volts. From B to C, we read 236 volts. From A to C, we read 238 volts. We find our average voltage by adding our three legs together and dividing by three. So in this example, our average voltage is 239 volts. In this example, the amount of phase unbalance is satisfactory, as it is below the maximum allowable of 2%. We determined the maximum deviation from average voltage was 4 volts. Plugging these numbers into the equation of 100 times 4 over 239, we find that our phase unbalance is 1.7%. If the supply voltage phase unbalance is more than 2%, Contact your local electric utility to resolve the issue. Current unbalance is allowed to a maximum of 10%. Voltage unbalance will cause a current unbalance, but a current unbalance does not necessarily mean that a voltage unbalance exists. A loose terminal connection or a buildup of dirt or carbon on one set of contacts using the example of L1 as the problem leg, would cause a higher resistance on that leg, L1, than on L2 and L3. The current follows the path of least resistance, so the current increases in legs L2 and L3. Higher current causes more heat to be generated in the motor windings. Percent of current unbalance is calculated in the same way as voltage unbalance, with a maximum acceptable current unbalance of 10%. Most compressor and unit startup sheets have a place to record voltage and current on compressors and motors. These readings should be taken at startup and during regular maintenance. Go to arefco.com for more videos, like, subscribe, and check back every week for new videos.